Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. And I hope through this video, we can multiply decimals mentally if your multiplier is 10, 100, and 10,000. So basically, before we start in doing this topic, review muna natin different parts of multiplication. So I have here 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Now, what are the different parts of multiplication? Here, our first factor, which is 4, this one is called the multiplicand. At yung second factor natin, which is 3, ang tawag naman natin dito is multiplier. And for the answer, in multiplying, ang tawag naman natin doon is product. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's say for example, I have this kind of decimals. Ginamit ko lang ay yung isang klase ng decimal. We have 8.573. So hindi natin siya babasahin in proper way. 8.573. And as you can see, we have here different multipliers. 10, 100, and 10,000. So what is the rule? Or what are the rules in multiplying this kind of decimals if your multiplier is 10, 100, or 1,000. So when the multiplier is 10, 100, or 1,000, we move the decimal point to the right by as many places as the number of zeros after 1 in the multiplier. So paano bang nangyayari? So let's have the first example. Focus tayo dito. We have 8.573 times 10. Ngayon, sabi dito, kailangan mo bilangin yung number ng zeros sa yung multiplier. Your multiplier here is 10. So, ilang zeros ba meron ng 10? Meron lang tayo ng iisang zero. So, 1, 0. So, next step natin is to focus on your multiplicand. Ngayon, since ang iyong multiplier, it has only 1, 0. Again, meron lang isang zero si 10. You will be moving this decimal place from left to right kung ilang beses or ilang zeros meron ng iyong multiplier. Again, since meron kang 1, 0 sa 10, automatic, you will be moving this decimal place 1 unit. So as you can see, nag-move yung tayo natin decimal place and the product here is 85.73. So again, di ba? From this point, 1 decimal place, mag-move tayo, 1, and then your product is 85.73. Now, for for you to have a better understanding about this, tingnan natin example number 2. For example number 2, same decimal, we have 8.573 times 100. So, paano ba yung pag-multiply? Bilangin yung number of zeros. You have here 1 and 2 zeros. Ibig sabihin, ganin yung dalawang, ganin yung gagawin yung places na i-move natin sa yung decimal places, sa, sa yung multiplicand. So you have here, 1, 2. Again, ulitin natin. Bakit tayo nagkaroon ng dalawang movements? Kasi meron tayong dalawang zeros sa yung multiplier. Therefore, etong decimal place na to, or decimal point na yan, is i-move mo ng 2 decimal places kasi meron kang dalawang zeros. So you have here 1, 2. That's why our answer here is 857.3. This is the correct answer for item number 2. Continue lang natin. You have 8.573 times 1,000. So 1,000, meron tayong tatlong zeros. Now, from this point, mag-move tayo ng 3 decimal places. Papuntas from left to right. So you have here 1, 2, and 3. That's why the answer here is 8,573. Okay? So let's have more examples para mas magkaroon tayo ng malalim na understanding about this. Now, through this topic, pwede nyo rin practice yung pag-multiply mentally. Try natin eh. Let's try another example. Let's have... 
4 times 10. Try natin. So, for me, the correct answer here is 256.4. So, kung mapansin nyo, ginawa, ginamit ko lang siya or minultiply ko lang siya mentally. Sir, paano yun? Again, yung iyong multiplier, bilangin mo kung ilang zeros meron ka. You have here one zero sa iyong multiplier. From this point, mag-move ka rin ng decimal place from left to right ng isang beses. One. Okay? So that's why the answer is 256.4. Let's have another example. Let's try 113.08. And your multiplier is 1000. Again, 113. 0 0.08 times 1,000. And my answer here is this. Okay? 113,080. Sir, paano nangyari yan? Your multiplier here is 1,000. And then you have three zeros sa yung 1,000. You have three zeros sa yung 1,000. Now, from this point, from this decimal point, mag-move tayo ng 3 places. So you have your 1, 2, and 3. Mag-add ka ng 0 dito. That's why the correct answer is 113,080. So you hope na sa ating examples ngayon is natutunan nyo on how to multiply decimals if your multiplier is 10, 100, or 1,000. So right after this video, I will give you exercises na kung saan you will be doing it mentally. Now for your activity with regards to this multiplying decimals by 10, 100, and 1,000, I have here three examples na dapat nyo sagutan para ma-apply agad natin kung ano yung natutunan nyo within our tutorial video. So I hope na yung maging sagot nyo rito ay ilalagay sa ating comment section para makita natin kung natuto ba kayo sa ating video. Again, if bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!